Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, it's me, Temp, and today I'll be showing you how to install Utau for Mac. Yes. So first, you want to go to this web this website here. Um, just type it in, and you'll get to this page. And you don't want to click this, but you want to click this here for Utau Synth for Mac. Now this is the most updated version, so you want to click this. As you can see, it does not work on my Mac. Um, I think it's like the antivirus protector. Um, so in order to bypass that, you can't even like open a new tab. Like it just closes it. Just open it in a new window or incognito window, and it should work. And once you download it, um, you want to drag it into your applications. That's pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure many of you guys know how to do that already. Um, once you drag it into applications and you open it, um, you'll get this um, screen where it's telling you to put a key in. Um, just go to here. If you click this, this will pop up. And this, you just copy and paste that in. And then you'll get a 30 day access free trial to Tau. Um, once the 30 days are up, no worries. Just go um, to this website again, click this again, get the link and you'll be good. Yeah, so um, there's that. Or you'll get the code and then you'll be able to get it. Yeah. So, yeah, once you're able to open that up. By the way, everything that I'm going to talk about here today is also on this website. Very helpful for getting started with Utau. So, you're free to read everything here as well. So, yeah. Um, we're here now. And your time signature, as you can see, is here. Um, and this pink line indicates each measure and since we're in 4-4 it's divided into four sections right now you click this pencil to put down notes boom just like that very simple very self-explanatory if you've ever seen some of these like similar music programs before so you can just put notes down um and these pitch you can control these nodes um by doing that you can also add extra nodes here, extra control points, and you can do all sorts of fun stuff. Um, what I'm doing right now is like double clicking or like right clicking or like double tapping on my touchpad. So by doing that, I get to here, I'm adding control point, and then I'm just doing that. All right, let's, let's see how this sounds. Oh wait. <laughs> that was pretty stupid, huh? Yeah, but that's the gist of it. And you can, like, hide these, unhide them. Just a visual thing by clicking this down here. Um, if it's pink, it's selected. You can just delete them on your keyboard, or there's, like, the eraser tool here. Boom, boom. And you can also change the length of the notes, obviously, by dragging. And right now, the default... Um, note that it's set to is quarter note um, and th this means the smallest subdivision that it can go to which is a 16th note you can change all of these as well let's go to 64th for example and now when I drag I can go even smaller like that all right and when when you double tap or like right click um, on a note you get all these options these are pretty fun to play around with very cool, and you can also add vibrato. And you can edit this vibrato too by right clicking again. Boom. You can change the intensity by dragging this over here. Um, this, this like phase shift, these control like frequency and stuff. This is like starting position. I think this is frequent, this up here is frequency. Let's see how this sounds. Rewind all the way back, play. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. You can hide this, by the way, here. Or if you want to get rid of the vibrato completely, just boom, like that. And you can click this to change the lyric. Let's do like... So, um, I have a Japanese keyboard added to my system. That makes it much easier to type in um, the sounds that I want. So just insert, and now we went from an ah to a ba. So let's see the difference. 
yeah. Um, if you want to change the uh, Utah that you're using, I might make another video on that later. But once you install Utah Synth, um, this uh, Defoco Utah Utana, that's what you're stuck with. Yeah, very cool. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much everything I think for getting started with Utah. So have fun. See you guys next week.